Hey, this is Chris with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. We're here in the North San Juan zone, and we're touring out today to look to see if we have a storm slab problem that we were talking about in the advisory this morning. Um, we've tested a couple TEPS slopes. Uh, we've done an extended column test, didn't get any propagating results um, in our most recent slab of snow that's fallen over the last couple days. It's really soft and light here, not super wind affected. It is sitting on some weaker snow below. As we move forward, the slab could settle, could stiffen, um, and as it stiffens, it, it has the potential to want to help communicate this failure over time on this weaker snow below, or if we get more of a load in the next couple of days. So this is something we'll just need to keep an eye out for moving forward. So we've now climbed a couple hundred vertical feet up the same ridge from our first pit today. We're now on a northeast aspect, just right below a ridge line here. We did a couple of extended column tests. One test propagated on these weak facets, the other didn't. A member of our group stepped off of his skis. This whole slope right here collapsed. After we did both extended column tests, we actually noticed some cracks all the way up to these trees above us. We then decided to do a PST. So even though we're getting mixed results in our stability test here, that's a good reminder that we shouldn't hedge all our bets on one individual piece of information. We need to look for cracking and collapsing. Evidence of recent natural activity. Also consider the snow structure and when we have a really weak sugary structure below a thick stiff slab we need to recognize that um, this combination uh, could lead to large and deadly avalanches and so we just need to consider that uh, when assessing whether or not to ski a slope.